Okay, Moth in the Flame, Metallica, two, 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 standard. <clears throat> Song starts out like this. So what the, I'm just going to show you one part. There's two guitars doing these, but I'm just going to show you the one. So you're going to start on the third string and just kind of, with your ring finger, just slide up from like either the seventh or the eighth fret there to the ninth. Just go. Oops. Okay. And once you hit the ninth fret, you're going to go. Oops. So it's going to go nine, ten, nine, seven. Okay? And then you open the E power chord. Then the second time he does, he just does the same thing, slide to the 9, to the 8th um, fret there on the 2nd string, back to the 9, 7. Then twice on the open E, so. Um, once he does it for the fifth time, he just does that part and then he switches down to the octave, down to the seventh fret on the uh, fifth string. So what he's doing there, he's just doing the same uh, pattern, like just back and forth. So it's seven, again that slide on the ring finger. That's going to go seven. Eight, seven, five, so. Okay, then from the fifth, you're going to go back to the seventh. And so it's going to go. Then to the fifth fret, fifth, uh, fourth string. Okay, and then that, that pattern kind of rocks back and forth. So I'll just do it slowly for you. So, and that's what he does till you hear this. Ends on that fifth fret, fourth string. And then he does these, these beefy power chords where you bar the fifth and sixth strings. Uh, I usually put my ring finger there on the octave. Of uh, the uh, seventh fret, on, that would be on the ninth fret on the fourth string. Just gives it a fuller sound. And he goes down from the seventh fret bar to the fifth fret. Okay, so it's. Okay, then from there it goes into the main riff, and this one uh, is a lot of fun. You're just gonna have to work on your. I don't know, you're like speed picking, but mixed in with some downstrokes here. So what he's going to do is he's going to go right down immediately to the first fret and like just kind of pull it off, but while picking it. Just that real quick touch on the first fret, first fret of the sixth string. And then you're going to go, you know, uh, to the open sixth string. See, each time I do a little triplet, he's hitting that first fret of the E string. So I'm going to play this riff uh, full speed, then I'm going to do it real slowly. So it's going to go. So he's going to just do that. Each time I'm not doing a triplet, it is downstrokes. So don't mix in alternate picking in there. It's all downstrokes except for those triplets with the first fret on the on the sixth string. Okay, and then from there, he's going to do the. All right, now the way I pick this, because this is the best I can I can hear from on the album. 
it's a it's a hammer on from the fifth fret of the sixth string to the sixth fret. <laughs> Okay, and then what he does there is he puts, so he does the hammer on the 5th to the 6th fret on the 6th string, then to the 5th fret, 5th string, and pick that, then I up pick there on the 4th string, okay, on the 7th fret. And then it's 8th fret to 7th fret on the 5th string. And then it's kind of like I finish with an up pick, 7th fret, 4th string, and then alternate pick down, up on the 8th, 7 on the 5th string. Okay, and then once he finishes that riff, he's going to go to the, like, even the more of the main riff. Again, that's hammer on, five, up pick the seventh fret, fourth string, and then alternate pick, eight, seven on the fifth string. And then from there, he's going to do the open six string power chord. Oops. And then I'm just going up to the first fret power chord uh, and filler in between. So, I mean, like, I'm not going to sit here and talk my way through that riff, but I'll play it slowly for you so you get the full gist of it. But it's just bouncing back between the uh, first fret power chord and the open. So. Okay, as that first part ends, you're going to come down and do this. It's a really weird transition at first because you're so used to doing this. So you're like used to playing that riff all the way through, except now you're going to cut off that last seventh fret on the fifth string. And he's going to go right into that first fret, first fret triplet pull off that I was showing you before. So it's going to go. So now you see what I'm doing there. It's mixing in the riffs I've already shown you, uh, except, you know, that's the, you know, you're missing that last note there on that riff because it's just going to jump right to that first fret. So play that slowly to start out because that transition, it, it was tricky for me. Like I had trouble, I kept playing, like it was weird. So, you know, you have to do the... Like, get this hand ready to go down there and hit that first fret. Okay, full speed. Now we're going to get into the next part of the song. If you notice, the last, like the fourth verse, uh, he does that that whole thing. He does that part all like four times on the first verse. The last time you do it, he does play the riff in full. Okay? Because then from there, it's going to transition into this. Okay? So from there, he's going to come out, he's going to start speed picking that open six string. And you're going to do a slide from about the third fret, to the third fret six string. Oops. He's going to do a slide from the third fret to the fifth fret on the six string. And he's going to go up to the eighth fret with his pinky on the fifth string. Back to the fifth fret on the fifth string and then to the seventh fret, fifth string. And then he's gonna speed pick in between. So. All right, I fucked that up. So 
So from there, I fucked that up. I've never played that slowly before. So um, he's going to do that a couple times. The third time. Oh, he's going to do the go immediately down to the third fret, fifth string. And then do up to the fifth fifth fret, fifth string. Like that. And then this is alter, alternate pick. Open. Okay, after you do the... You're going to do an open fifth string. Like that. Then power chord on the second fret. And then hit that a couple times. One, two, three. And then to the open sixth string. So hit that. Just twice. So it's going to go like that. So I'm going to do this whole part for you real slowly. Okay, so that's that part's it's actually very easy, but it is a little tricky at first to learn. But it is once you get the hang of it, you're like, oh, this part's like so such a relief compared to the other part. Okay, you're gonna do that two times, and then you're gonna come out of there, and he's gonna change up this riff just. Uh, uh, subtly, and you're going to come into like the best part of the song, which is the chorus. So it's going to go like this. And then you hear Kirk's little sh solo. Uh, I I'm very anti-Kirk solo in this in this uh, album. He's He was so terrible. Uh, so I, I have no desire to learn any of his solos. Not even these little, these little things. So uh, I feel like he just totally mailed it in, and it's really disappointing. Uh, but anyway, so you're going to come out of that. And then, then he's doing that little solo. Okay, so this, this is the part I'm showing you. So what he's doing when he comes out of that... He's just doing a slide with his middle finger up from like the 6th fret to the 8th and then to the 7th fret 5th string to the 8th fret 6th string. So, And then you're going to start speed picking on the 5th fret of the 6th string. And then he's going to go down to the third fret, fret, but if you notice, if you listen to the song really carefully and you listen to James' rhythm, he delays it ever so subtly and it gives it such a better, like the riff has such a better feeling. So it's going to go... Kirk's solo ends right there. Uh, yeah, and he's speed picking down to the third fret. I don't know if I mentioned that. But Kirk's solo ends right there, and then he's going to go back into the... So that, that part there, he's doing the... He's doing that same slide up to the 8th fret, 7th fret to the 8th fret. And then he's just going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 5. And then he's going to do that on the 5th, that's on the 5th fret power chord. And then he's going to do that same riff in between. Except go to the 5th fret first. And then do all your speed picks before you hit the open chord. And then once you hit the open chord, you're going to go down to the third fret. So it's going to go. Yeah, and it gives it, it, 
gives it that like much better feeling. So here's how it is coming out of that riff in uh, real time. This is what I just showed you. Coming out of that kind of chorus there, uh, he's going to go back to that. He's going to go back to that slide to the fifth fret, okay, and then do the uh, eighth fret to fifth fret to seventh fret on the fifth string, just like I showed you, you know, before it went into the main chorus part. Except in between, he's going to. He's going to speed pick, but in between hit that 7th fret power chord, the octave uh, power chord on the 5th string. So that's how it's going to go like that. So, um, And that's when he breaks in the... He says Moth in the Flame there. And then this riff I showed you, I showed you before. So that riff all plays out. Um, and then it's going to break out into uh, the second verse, and it is literally the exact same thing as the first verse. The chorus is cut, in, or I'm sorry, the, the verse itself is actually cut in half. It's only two measures as opposed to four. But then he's going to come out of that, do the exact same things I've already showed you. Then he's going to go into the... Uh, so then he says, Moth into Flame, and then he holds it. And then it's going to go... So when he when he holds that note, it's just a it's just a open six string power chord, and then right into and that's three five six open, and it's three five six power chord to the open E string, no power chord, and then palm mute the open six string. No sliding, those are all strum chords. And they're fast, so it is tough. Make sure it really tests your timing with your left and right hands. And of course, in true Hatfield fashion, it's all downstrokes. The riff that comes after that is. So what he's doing there is from the fifth fret of the fifth string, just real quick hammer onto the seventh. So you're hitting it five times. A one, two, three, four, five, down to the fifth fret on the fifth string. So, and then it goes seventh fret, sixth string, sixth fret, sixth string, and give it a little, you know, a little shake there. And then the open E string. Oh, that was a little too much. Okay? And you're down picking all of these notes, by the way. All of this whole part is down picking. Okay, from there he's going to do the... So what he's doing is 6th fret, power chord, 6th string. So it's six to five. Again, these are all strummed. These are not slid. And then when he hits five, you're gonna do a quick open six string and then hit the fifth fret power chord again. So like that. And then three times strumming on the third fret six string to the open six string power chord. Okay, so. Oh, if you notice too, after I hit that fifth fret power chord the second time, it's another quick chug on the open sixth string before he does the third fret power chord three times. Okay? 
Now from there, it's that riff back and forth. He's gonna go and Kirk's gonna do his horrible solo. And then you're gonna come in and he's gonna do the Kirk's solo. Okay, and then he's gonna do these little power chords in between, which uh, if you just listen by ear, you could tell it's the third fret power chord on the fifth string. To the fifth fret. And if you notice, he's repeating that riff two times there under the solo. Okay, now the song takes a break, but if you notice before he goes, the third time he goes... Just hit that first fret power chord twice. And then from here on out, the entire song is everything I've already showed you. You just gotta listen to it. But it is the same thing. He's just gonna do the... Again, ends on those chords. The very, very end of the song, those chords, he just goes... So it's... The same chords I showed you at the beginning. But that's the entire song. It's relatively an easy song. It's a hard rock song. It's not really metal, but it's good. It's really good, and it's a lot of fun to play. Enjoy.